<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. The midterm elections are tomorrow, and regardless of your party affiliation, the stakes for our nation have never been higher. However, according to a Harvard Institute of Politics survey, only 40% of voters age 18 to 29 indicate that they are likely to vote tomorrow. Hmm. But what about the other 60% who remain apathetic? Here to give us some insight on motivating millennials to get out to the polls today, tomorrow, and in elections to come is a millennial herself. She is the youngest lawmaker in the state of Georgia, an yes. activist, and an agent for change. State Representative Park Cannon. Yes. yes. We are so proud of you. Oh my God. Circle. She is so proud of you. Yes. Just like what I said. And just Thank the glasses you. is on fleek. Yes. <laughs> yes. Glasses are sharp. Right. right. Yeah. We show lots of love down here in the yes, circle. We so uh, we're very, very happy to have you here to, to incite and impart some knowledge uh, to us and to our millennial voters. So well, let's talk about you and your journey in politics. How did you even get started in politics at such a young age? And how do people receive you because of your age? Well, thank you. The honest thing about it is that when I got elected, there was someone who was 94 years old serving in the Georgia wow. General Assembly. Wow. Wow. And I was 24. And so there were some conversations we had to have that were very different. Mm -hmm. But I learned that I needed to negotiate. And mm -hmm. Stacey Abrams is actually the person who taught me that. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. She reminded me that what I was doing when I was working at the Women's Health Clinic was advocating for families and serving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was going to be just like that once elected. Mm -hmm. oh now what's interesting is you don't consider yourself a politician. Um, are there any plans for you in the future to maybe um, to run for office on a national level Ooh. later on in life? Well, that's right. I don't identify as a politician. Mm -hmm. I am a queer millennial. I've got locks. I've been homeless. And so when people are thinking of politicians, there's an idea they mm -hmm. have that it is someone who doesn't identify with the ways that they do. Mm -hmm. So in bringing myself closer to voters, we've seen our voting numbers go up. People mm -hmm. can see themselves in our campaign. Mm -hmm. And so it's amazing to think that perhaps in the future I could run for a different office, but right now I know good solutions and better solutions for a better Georgia are what we need to bring right now. So I'm focused on Georgia and looking forward to serving for as long as I can here. Awesome. Yeah. It's beautiful. Amazing. Now earlier today we, we quoted a statistic that only 40% of voters in your age group will actually vote. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to change that? Well, the reality is 40.7% of the people who have already voted in this election in Georgia are millennials. Oh, okay. So That's awesome. we're already defying the odds, which yes. is what is so exciting to see yes. that the changes we're making are actually working, and millennials are not only voting in record numbers, but they're also running for office. Yes. 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 What, what, what do you think about uh, voter suppression and for those who hear that their, their votes don't count? Uh, well, voter suppression is a holistic attitude mm -hmm. by someone who thinks that their power is under attack. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing in the state of Georgia. But I want to remind people of this fact. I have friends who have lost their election by one vote. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. My first election was decided by 23 votes Goodness. out of 55,000 votes. Wow. So every vote actually does count, and mm. we have to get out from underneath that. So, yeah. so recently, and I, I completely agree with you, but I, I do want to talk about what's recent in the news that uh, Secretary of State Brian Kemp uh, is now launching an investigation into the Democratic Party, stating that there was some hacking going on. However, nothing was breached and everything is still protected. What do you make of that? Is that, <laughs> a, is that some form of a ploy? Oh, it's yeah. completely laughable. Um, it is the <laughs> end of the road campaign antics. But what we do know is that the Democratic Party of Georgia is not complicit in any of this. We are turning out our voters. We're excited about the opportunity to win this election tomorrow. And all that people need to remember is that I will be dropping legislation to stop any Secretary of State from presiding over his own election yes. as soon I know as we get like back in. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And, and on the grand scheme of thing, a more, you know, a more national scope of things, people, we're voting. We're doing what we need to do. What if they want to transition and get involved in other ways? What would you say would be the proper steps? Oh, volunteer today, volunteer tomorrow, get outside, wave some yard signs, and then consider running for office. I was 22 when I decided to run for office. I had no money in order to do it, but was able to think about the other systems at play. 
And so if you're thinking about a school board, mm -hmm. how different would it be if an 18-year-old who had no comprehensive sexual education hmm. said, forget this, I'm graduated and I'm running, and they won their election for school board, and they served on their school board, yes. mm -hmm. we would see a different country. Yes. Wow. Well, how do we encourage people? I think, you know, we, we become so discouraged by the whole political process right. that it feels so daunting to even start. How do we keep encouraging kids at a young age? Because I've never even heard it presented that way. Right. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't continue to see the civics education in our schools mm -hmm. that help kids see that this is possible. Mm -hmm. But we do know that you wouldn't leave a grocery store without getting the things that you need. Right. So people don't need to leave their communities without bringing the things oh, that they wow. need. Message. Message. Yes. Oh, so that's where we're at with yes, this. Right. Yeah. And you're not going to leave the voting booth without voting real for real, too. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, speaking of voting, tomorrow is V-Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Game on. Voting yes. day. Yes. yes. So are there any final tips for anyone going to the polls tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow when you go to the polls, remember this. There are questions as well as candidates. So you mm -hmm. elect people to do a job, and we do that job, then we come back and check with the voters. I do have a ballot measure on it right now. It makes it so that if you are homeless in the city of Atlanta, you can be housed by nonprofits, mm. and those nonprofits not have to pay tax on it. Mm. I would encourage everyone to vote yes, vote from the candidates to the questions, mm. and do not forget if someone does not want you to vote and tells you that your ballot cannot be done electronically, request a paper ballot. Mm. Request a provisional ballot. And what is that? What is a provisional ballot? Provisional ballots are the same ballots that are going through electronically, but they will go under an extra set of vetting to figure out what's going on. Mm. I find it unfortunate that we have to have so many people cast provisional ballots in this election, but it is possible. So just be prepared when you walk in tomorrow to see what happens. Oh my goodness, mm. and also sample ballots. I encourage people to you know download your sample ballot in your particular yeah. county, because a lot of the verbiage and the language on those proposed amendments can be tricking people People, yeah. like if you don't read between the lines. So yeah. I encourage that as well. And yes. you, my dear, are fantastic. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you. I love you. I <laughs> hope that you can come on with us uh, yes. as this uh, political process continues yes. to go in your direction. And in this country, we're very, very proud of you. Yes. Thank yes. Thank you. Can we give it up for Park Kitty one more time? Thank you. To learn more about her and what she's doing, please visit her website at parkcannon58.com.